This has very much to do with what was known as the Jewish problem in Europe. Europe had a problem with its Jewish population. They perpetrated crimes against the Jews out of racism, out of uh, different other uh, motivations. And eventually they came to the conclusion together with a group of secular Jews that the solution to the Jewish problem is to create for them a homeland elsewhere a homeland that would be safe for them, far away from the pogroms and all the persecution. And uh, initially the Zionist movement uh, was uh, uh, not acceptable to the Jews. The majority of the Jews rejected it, continued to reject it, but then came the Holocaust. And the, the Holocaust uh, provided the best justification for the Zionist uh, ideology. Uh, the, the, the Zionist, I, I remember once I had a debate with a rabbi in, uh, in a synagogue in London, in the heart of London, and I was reminding him of the history of Zionism, and he said, you don't have to tell me all of this, I know it very well. We, our, our, our old rabbis did not believe in Zionism, but then Hitler came and proved the Zionists to be right. So it was the Holocaust that uh, proved the idea that Europe was not safe for the Jews to be a right idea. Uh, and this uh, gives rise to the sense of guilt. Many Europeans feel guilty about this, but there's also an ideological aspect uh, that is to do with Christian Zionism because Christian Zionists always believed that their Messiah would not come until all the Jews were sent back to Palestine. So there is, there is also this uh, element, but leaving all this aside, Politically, Israel today is the last remaining colonial project of the West. They feel it's theirs. It belongs to them. It's their daughter or the, it's their spoiled son. Uh, and, and hence is the very special relationship between uh, Europe and America on the one hand uh, and Israel on, on the other. So there are a multitude of, of factors involved here.